Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing a January 2019 love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius singles. Um, or uh, if you are cross-watching, welcome as well. If you have your eye on a Sagittarius, you might want to know what's going on. So we will see what the angels have for predictions for you guys in January. Your angels, what messages do you have for Sagittarius singles for January 2019? What do they have in love coming for them? Thank you. Okay. The bottom of your deck is flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and it will uh, attract romantic love. So um, the first message it was out for you guys is most definitely you are lovable. This is always my Sagittarius card with the archer um, and saying you deserve love. Um, your next card out was express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If there is somebody um, on your mind, uh, that's got your attention, uh, reach out to them because I am hearing they have feelings for you as well. And spirit wants you to know it is safe for you to love, to, um, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. So let's see, let's use the spellcasters tarot. What does Sagi singles have? Coming up in January in love. Okay. Yeah, you guys are um, getting out of a situation where um, somebody took advantage of you. Somebody didn't appreciate uh, being in a relationship with you. They, uh, You feel like they threw you under the bus. They could have told you something was going to happen. Or they were going to do something and they broke that promise. And it just, you really feel deceived. You really feel like they shit the bed on you. Like truly you counted on them. You trusted them. They uh, asked you to trust them, told you they wouldn't hurt you. And this is what you got out of trusting that person. Uh, you could be uh, checking this person out on social media, seeing what's up. Um seeing what they have been up to. And, um, after finding that information, you are choosing to move forward. You're no longer dealing with this person. This person could have you blocked. Um, because, but mostly this person's energy is very immature. Could be dealing with an air sign. All three of these cards are air, but for the most part, this is being up in your head, uh, lacking self-confidence out of a relation due to a relationship you just got out of. This person really, like I said, they took you for, uh, took advantage of you. You deserve love. You do not deserve to be treated, um, in the 10 of swords, um, manner. You're really making a choice. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. You got out of a relationship that was very, very toxic. I don't feel this is a Capricorn. This is somebody that you felt like tied to, like you had a special bond with that. Um, that's why this hurt is, is hurting you guys so bad. That's why this is killing you because you actually thought that this was a connection that was meant to last a lifetime, but this person didn't love you in the way that you deserve. Um, you could also have a lot of, um, uh, like an obsessive, thought process right now. You are um, obsessively thinking about somebody who hurt you in the past and that's making it toxic for you. Um, yeah, this is a lot of negative thoughts about yourself. Like I said, you're having a lot of self-confidence issues. Um, yeah. Yeah. This person kept you in a constant state of confusion to keep you around, to keep you waiting. Uh, this could have been uh, a situation where they were, you were supposed to move forward and they were going to catch up with you or they were going to move, you guys were going to move forward together, 
but um, you found out that you were, this person was not telling you the truth. They were deceiving you with the seven of swords. So you put it to an end. You put it to a stop. You thought this person was your soulmate. You thought you were going to have a family with this person. But all you got out of the situation was a lot of betrayal and emotionally drained in the process. Um, this person could be overindulgent in um, alcohol uh, with being with the devil here. Somebody has an addiction to something, um, whether that be you or the person you left. But you have con the control. You have the ability to break free from this energy and to make all your wishes come true. But um, you need to begin the healing process. Um, this person intentionally confused you because they knew you loved them. They knew you would wait around for them because there was that unconditional love. So they constantly made you confused. But you are leaving that behind. That is under the you deserve love. So that is of the past. Um, and somebody new. Yeah. Somebody new is about to enter your life, but you're feeling trapped by the situation still. You still feel like they have a hold on you. You don't want to move on, but you feel you have to move on. So you're in this constant um, back and forth between yourself, this decision that you have to make. I feel you have to make this decision, though, or you're going to forever stay trapped there. My cards are just flying out of the deck. Yeah, this was a third party situation um, that this somebody had put you in and you are finding out that they are deciding to work on a relationship that is not you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're deciding to protect their finances instead of follow their heart is what I'm hearing. So they are uh, they are staying in a relationship due to to money issues. Um, and, and it's really, really breaking your heart. It's calling for, uh, you to have patience within yourself to begin the process of healing, to move forward, to allow yourself to feel these emotions, allow yourself to cry this out, um, and leave this in the past because you have new love coming in for you in January. It could be an air sign. Yeah. And this person's going to tell you the truth, but more importantly, you're going to be awakened to the truth from the divine. This person's not going to tell you the truth, but you will, uh, find out the truth from your angels, from, from the divine. Somehow you're going to be awakened to what is going on. And that is going to allow you to bring in, uh, healing and balance and patience with yourself in this healing process. But most importantly, it's going to put you right back in your element where you are vibrating high and uh, attracting new love. And it will be safe for you to love this new person that's coming in. Um, yeah, you could be um, moving quickly uh, away from a fire sign or towards a fire sign. Um, but you're manifesting this situation that's coming towards you. Where is... Okay. Yeah, and this is going to be somebody who equally loves you who equally has that unconditional love for you. Um, this person may find it hard to um, express their feelings, express their, uh, how they feel towards you right away because they are also coming out of a uh, relationship with the past where that they were hurt. This could be an air sign once again, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, but this person right here that takes action that is, truthful and honest and knows what he wants is going to provide a, a ten of pentacles a relationship full of abundance in many areas of your life and much success in moving forward this relationship is going to be very beautiful and yeah oh my goodness okay so um after you move forward from the situation that you're just getting out of that was there's nothing left for you here. Yeah, you're walking away. You're moving away in the moonlight, but there's nothing left here for you. All the cups are spilled. Um, there's no tears left to cry. There's nobody uh, that is stopping you from moving on. So move forward. And when you do, you will have somebody new that comes in and offers you love and gives you this gift from the universe of abundance, a new beginning, a new zest for life. And most importantly, it's going to be safe for you to love. Because this person is coming in, um, laying it all out on the table of what they want out of this relationship, what they want from you and what they're able to provide. And they back it up with action. Yeah. And your last card out. 
this is going to be so emotionally abundant, so emotionally satisfying that you're going to wonder why you held on to this other person for so long. Uh, when you have this waiting for you, I mean, the cards are just more and more beautiful. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the King of Cups, the Six of Wands. There is such beautiful love coming in for you. The most important thing is, though, you have to get out of this thought process that you're stuck by the situation of somebody that you're waiting on, somebody that is not coming forward um, because they haven't made a choice yet to move forward. They could be in another relationship, and you deserve more love than that. You deserve to have it all. You are lovable. So when somebody new comes into your space, go ahead and make the romantic gesture because it is safe for you to love Saggy Singles. And um, you will be finding love in January. I'm hearing air and water signs especially. All right. Okay, so your guys' card is um, hold the course, staying focused, continue to heal, stay focused on your healing, bring that balance back into your life, and love will soon follow, and open your heart to joy because you or joy and delight are coming towards you with this new person. And it is going to be such a beautiful, beautiful relationship for you to start the year out on. Leave 2018 and all those relationships in the past, leave the energy at the door and begin new with this uh, new love coming in for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed your singles January reading. I will see you next time. I send you love, light, and God bless.